I got something pulling. I was messing with the line, just kind of trying to see if something was on there, and then something started pulling. <laughs> so there's fish around. Sometimes it pays to mess with your line. Here I am. Okay, let's see what we got. Some really strong pulls, so I hope they didn't come off. Oh yeah, we got something. I had this in close. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, pretty good whiting. Yeah, he's. Very nice. That's a pretty good whiting. He's probably. It's a whiting fish. A whiting? Okay. Yeah, he's probably 11 oh, inches, great. maybe. That is so cool. Good eating size. <laughs> That is great. That's the first one for today. First one for today, yeah. Got the skunk out. <laughs> you come in the fish often? Oh yeah, all the time. So you can, you can I mean, you must have caught a lot of fish. I mean, big ones. And... Oh yeah. Nice. I've the the biggest one of these I've caught. Um, whoop, they get really up to maybe 18 inches. I think is the biggest I've heard. I've caught a 17 inch right off the beach here. So, but yeah, he's whoop. <laughs> He doesn't want to stay here. Oh, that's fun. But yeah, he's going home with me. <laughs> yeah. Well, I am. Uh, I'm starting a a business, and it's mainly for teaching women how to fish on the beach. But um, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start fishing charters in uh, August. So let me give you my business card. I just I require one, at least one woman to be on the charter. If you have a woman who would love to learn, and so you can fun. come along too. So oh, it is. You get a catch. <laughs> What's that? I said, when you get to have a catch, it's so fun. Oh yeah. Thank you so much. But I, I like it whether it's whether I catch anything or not. It's still the beach. Oh, absolutely. So, <laughs> yeah. That is so great. Yeah. Thank you very much. Always a blast. You're welcome. You get to teach someone about fishing. This is awesome. Throw this back out. Thank you so much. Good luck. Appreciate Thank you. Have a good day. Yeah, have a good day. <laughs> so we've got a nice school of sand fleas right down here in front of me. I don't know if you can see that. Um, there's a lot of little antennas sticking up out of the sand when the waves go by. As they're going past, you can see them trying to filter out food. So I've got my sand flea rake. This is a 10 inch sand flea rake. I can't remember where I bought it. Probably West Marine or uh, Walmart. We're gonna see if we can get some sand fleas here. Oh yeah, there's tons of them. So many. Oh gosh, they're like crawling out. This is, <laughs> this is awesome. We have not seen sand fleas like this. I have not seen them since last year. So this is amazing bait. Look at all these. Sweet. One scoop, one scoop, and I've got enough bait for uh, this whole entire day. So I'm moving down here. I see this smooth water out here, and I like that. And I see a deep hole here, and I like that. So I'm gonna claim the corner of this little point. All right, so I'm getting ready to cast this out. I'm on this little point here. I've got fish bites, <laughs> sand fleas, and glass beads on here. And that's not too bad. It's not exactly where I was trying to put it, but it's, it's out there pretty good. Right in front of that sandbar is where it's at. That may be a really good spot. Oh, interesting. I had no idea that I had a little fish on here. <laughs> so this is why I film every time I'm bringing my line in. I had a tiny little whiting. These, this guy's too little. I'm gonna let him grow up. So I'm gonna throw him back. 
but I didn't even feel him. I didn't even know he was on there until I saw him coming in. Hey, buddy. What were you doing out there? You got yourself stuck. Okay, let's get you back. You thought you were getting food. So I've never let you guys have a whiting kiss before. So here comes a whiting. He's going to give you a kiss. And he's going back. So I came out here this morning with probably no expectations. I didn't know what to expect. Everyone's saying there's dirty water. It looked clean last night. So we came out just to see what we could do. And I was surprised to be able to get a nice keeper whiting. Got that little tiny whiting. We were able to find some good sand fleas and see that finally the beach is being populated again with sand fleas. It's honestly been all year and it's July that we were waiting to see this many sand fleas coming back out. So, so glad about that. I was able to teach a little bit to a tourist passing by, gave him my business card and got him interested and, and knowledgeable that you can catch fish off the beach that you can eat. So. I think all in all, it's been a fun day. It's been a great way to start my morning. Now I have to go home and do a lot of bookkeeping and paperwork and all of those other things that I don't like doing. So this made it a much better day to start out with. So if you like this content, please push that like, push that subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get notified. I did a live video right today on the beach uh, from my channel with today's live beach conditions. So if you live in the Flagler area and you want to know what's going on on the beach, if you wanna see what's happening right now and what water temperature is, what the waves look like, uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel because when I go live, come on and chat with me. I would love to say hello, but if you're not subscribed, you're not gonna get those notifications and you won't know when I'm live. So make sure you hit that notification bell. And as always, tight lines, God bless, and we'll see you next time, fishing girl.